Hello everyone, welcome to my another video. Today we discuss about important MCQ on administration of medications. This is part 2. For more important MCQ on nursing subjects, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Question number 11. Which of the following is the reason for intradermal injection to be used for testing allergic reactions? Option A. It is less painful. B. It is easy to administer. C. It diffuses rapidly. D. It diffuses slowly. Right answer is option D. It diffuses slowly. The test for allergy requires the medicine to get absorbed slowly. It can result into serious anaphylaxis. So it is given through intradermal route as the blood supply in this layer is less which delays absorption. Additionally, the body's reaction to substances is more easily visible since it is closer to the surface. The layer underneath the epidermis contains a large number of immune cells, mainly dermal dendritic cells. Next question. The method used for administering medication into the ear is called Option A. Installation B. Injection C. Inhalation D. Infiltration Right answer is Option A. Installation Installation is the terms used for administration of medication into the ear. Injection refers to parenteral administration of medication using a needle. Inhalation refers to administration of drugs that are gases or those are dispersed in an aerosol. Infiltration refers to administration of drugs that results in drugs passing into tissue spaces or into cells. Next question. A client is receiving prednisolone. Which among the following is the most important nursing intervention? Option A. Check the urine output hourly. B. Check hourly urine specific gravity. C. Check blood sugar hourly. D. Check the blood level of the drug. Right answer is option C. Check blood sugar hourly. Prednisolone causes increase in blood sugar. So the nurse needs to check hourly blood sugar level. The abrupt withdrawal of the drug needs to be avoided because it will lead to insufficiency of adrenal cortical hormones. Next question. Which of the following drug increases the risk of gastrointestinal bleeding? Option A. Aspirin B. Acetaminophen C. Tranexamic Acid D. Dextran Right answer is Option A. Aspirin Aspirin use increased serious GI bleeding by 60% with a larger effect on upper GI bleeding. Next question. Administration of medication into the subarachnoid space is known as Option A. Intrathecal B. Intraosseous C. Intradermal D. Subcutaneous Right answer is Option A. Intrathecal Intrathecal administration is a route of administration 
for drugs via an injection into the spinal canal or into the subarachnoid space so that it reaches the cerebrospinal fluid. It is useful in spinal anesthesia, chemotherapy, etc. Next question. Which site is recommended for adults as a safe site for the majority of intramuscular injection? Option A. Ventrogluteal site B. Vastus lateralis site C. Dorsogluteal site D. Rectus femoris Right answer is Option A. Ventrogluteal site Ventrogluteal site for IM injections are considered to be safest because this area is free from major blood vessels and nerves. Next question. Which of the following drugs induces sleep? Option A. Hypnotics B. Analgesics C. Antipyretics D. Antihistamines Right answer is Option A. Hypnotics Hypnotics are the groups of drug which induces sleep. Analgesics are used to relieve pain. Antipyretics used to bring down the temperature and antihistamines are used for treating allergy. Next question. Which among the following is a complication of spinal anesthesia? Option A. Tachycardia B. Hypotension C. Hypertension D. Dyspnea Right answer is Option B. Hypotension One of the most common neurological complications after spinal anesthesia is hypotension. Hypotension after in spinal anesthesia is a physiological consequence of sympathetic blockade. Next question. How should a nurse administer an iron injection to an adult? Option A. Intradermal in the forearm. B. Intramuscular in the deltoid. C. Subcutaneous in the arm. D. Z-track intramuscular in the gluteal. Right answer is Option D. Z-track intramuscular in the gluteal. Iron injection is irritable. So it is administered in well-developed muscles as deep IM. To prevent leak of injection, it is administered as deep IM using Z-Track technique. Next question. While administering albumin to a client, nurse need to give this drug dash. Option A. Rapidly and restrict water intake. B. Rapidly and increases water intake. C. Slowly and increases water intake. D. Slowly and restrict water intake. Right answer is slowly and restrict water intake. The therapeutic effect of albumin will be achieved if it is administering slowly along with restricted water intake. So this is the today's video. Thank you so much for watching my video.